Lymph and interstitial fluid are both crucial components of the body's extracellular fluid, playing vital roles in maintaining homeostasis, supporting the immune system, and ensuring the efficient transport of nutrients and waste products. While they share similarities, they also have distinct differences that are essential for their respective functions, which is what we're going to discuss in this quick video. Interstitial fluid, also known as tissue fluid, surrounds the cells and tissues, providing a medium for the exchange of substances between the blood and cells. It is derived from the plasma component of blood, which leaks out of capillaries due to hydrostatic pressure. This fluid carries oxygen, nutrients, and hormones to the cells while collecting waste products and carbon dioxide for removal. The composition of interstitial fluid closely resembles that of plasma but with fewer proteins, as most plasma proteins are too large to pass through capillary walls. Interstitial fluid plays a critical role in maintaining the extracellular environment's chemical balance, ensuring that cells function optimally. Lymph, on the other hand, is a specialized fluid that forms when interstitial fluid enters the lymphatic vessels. This transition occurs when the interstitial fluid carrying waste products, excess proteins, and other molecules is collected by lymphatic capillaries. As interstitial fluid becomes lymph, it passes through lymph nodes where it is filtered and cleansed by immune cells such as lymphocytes. This process is crucial for identifying and combating pathogens, cancer cells, and other foreign particles. The lymphatic system also plays a significant role in returning excess interstitial fluid to the bloodstream, preventing tissue swelling and maintaining fluid balance within the body. The composition of lymph is similar to that of interstitial fluid but it often contains a higher concentration of proteins and immune cells, especially after passing through lymph nodes. Lymphatic vessels transport lymph through progressively larger channels, eventually draining into the thoracic duct or right lymphatic duct, which empties into the subclavian veins. This process ensures that the fluid and proteins lost from the blood are returned to the circulatory system, maintaining blood volume and pressure. While both lymph and interstitial fluid are part of the body's extracellular fluid system, their roles and pathways differ significantly. Interstitial fluid surrounds and bathes cells, facilitating nutrient and waste exchange, while lymph is the filtered interstitial fluid that travels through the lymphatic system, contributing to immune defense and fluid balance. The transformation from interstitial fluid to lymph highlights the body's intricate mechanisms for maintaining homeostasis and protecting against disease. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. And as always, breathe easy, my friend.